How's it going, people? Yeah. If you guys are subscribed to my other channel, my vlogging channel, you'll know that uh got a job to do at least for right now I don't know if it's going to turn into anything long term or not but um, lady I used to work with in uh, business services customer care at Sprint is um, friends with one of the people that own one of the radio stations in Nashville who at the moment is completely out of service because somebody hacked their system. Which basically tells me that they need some better security there. Plus they don't need to have everything running on one specific or one system there. So I'm going to go down and straighten them up tomorrow and add a little bit of security to their life get them sorted out to where everything that comes in through the network is only going to one computer that way if it gets taken down their websites all that suffers if they have that in house if not then we'll have to figure something else out for them I don't know that that's going to lead to anything long term or permanent but it's work and I'll be helping somebody out that is still trying to recover from the 2010 flood. I may have some tech stuff to put up on Daddy Tech Reviews. Went to Arby's. I love Arby's, don't get me wrong. I mean, their roast beef is just remarkable. I love the, the food, love the flavor. They are still putting half the meat on the doggone sandwiches and then asking you if you want the normal amount of meat for a dollar more. They're advertising all over YouTube all the little good mood food pop-ups and TV. We know kind of made, made it click a little bit where the, the breakdown is here. The food sells itself. You don't really need to advertise, but they feel like they still need to reach out to some people. I understand that. You don't screw with what you commonly had on as part of your product from the beginning. You don't take away from that. Charge people more for the normal of everything. The normal size or weight or whatever. Just so that you can have more advertising. Advertising is not going to get you what you're losing by taking away from the product. Now I remember why I quit eating at Arby's. We've got one here in Portland and I like eating there. I like the, the food. The people do a good job preparing it. But that crap of you ordering a sandwich and then in order to get the proper amount of roast beef in the sandwich you have to pay a dollar more that's ridiculous yeah it's a food rant can't help it very few things I'm passionate about one of them is my Chevrolet's by the way today is Chevrolet's 100th birthday um, you can go to youtube.com forward slash Chevrolet and there's a big old uh, there's a bunch of celebrities that uh, are on that video for today wishing them a happy birthday um, but the uh, one of my neighbors the um uh, Chevrolets are one of them, and not food. I mean, I like food, but there's days I could go without eating anything. But 
Chevrolets and people doing people right, doing the right thing for people, are my two peeves. Somebody that screws somebody over, I've got no time for it. And basically, with what they're doing now, so they can get more advertising, and I don't know that that's the case, but that's what it seems like because the two kind of coincided with each other. But those are the two things that I'm passionate about. You don't screw people over, plain and simple. Life's too doggone short. You don't have much of a chance to make up for wrongs you do to people anymore. Time flies by way too doggone fast and it seems like, and it may just be me because the older I get, the faster the time goes by. And I don't know. It's just one of those things that I've had issue with for a long time. And that's people screwing people over. I mean, it. I've always been the kind that I do everything I can to help people out. And that's part of the reason that it bothers me so bad when I see people trying to screw people out of stuff or screw them over so they can do it some other way. Anyway, that's the that's the end of my rant. I just kind of wanted to put that out there. Like this radio station when uh, I go to do the work on it tomorrow. I'm not there to make a fortune. Yeah, I'm out of work and I could definitely use the money, but I'm not going to walk in and screw the guy over or walk in and spend probably what 30 minutes fixing each computer and charge them like a thousand dollars. That's that's not going to happen. That's just unthought of. Um, if I can get a little bit of pocket change out of it and fix him up, then I've done good by both of us. So, basically it's going to be wet and nasty like it is out right now anyway. Uh, probably the rest of the day and a good part of tomorrow. So there's not going to be any getting under the 4x4 and... Um, busting the bolts loose for the bed or for the transmission to get the motor snatched out uh, today would probably be a good day to hook up my trailer and run down to my buddies and get the uh, engine hoist if he'll let me use it but even if I got it I wouldn't be able to do much of anything uh, with the weather out like it is um, I have covered up the truck so it doesn't start rusting because I said that the other night about it rusting and I'd left it uncovered hadn't put any of the body filler or anything on it and sure enough I went out there yesterday or no went out there Tuesday and the body filler or the the welds and everything had started to rust already so I had to grind those back down first and then put the body filler on it now I've got it sanded down again and there's bare metal showing, so I covered it up so it doesn't get all rusty again. But that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, for those of you that are still watching, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, the two of you that keep um, unsubscribing and then two days later subscribing again, when I do hit a thousand subscribers, you will not be included in the in the drawing. I've seen it repeatedly. Um, it's the same two people. You add to my subscribers, it shows me on my Gmail that you've subscribed. Then I look at Social Blade the, uh, the next day or two days later, and it says negative two. And two days later, I'm jumped back up by two more. Those people will not be included in the, the drawing. And it's not to be mean, but somebody that's just here for the the goodies I don't need them here anyway and I hate to be hard about it but that's the way it is but anyway um, didn't want to end it on a negative note but that's all I really had for you today I uh, thank you for watching you guys have a great afternoon
before I forget, because I did earlier, um, one of my buddies on here, BBD, has actually started another channel. I'll put the link in the description. But his um, his channel that he started is actually Big Vlog Daddy or Big Vlogging Daddy, something like that. And he's vowed to keep it all non-sports because Big uh, Big Vlog Daddy is nothing but sports. So. I told him I'd shout him out once he started putting up some videos and he started so go on over there and check him out see what you think and like I said the link will be in the description to make it nice and easy for you.